Details continues. Welcome back. Jennifer Beals has been one of Hollywood's freshest and most beautiful faces for over 30 years. Having just turned 50, Jennifer has kept an appearance that makes her appear as young as she was when she made her big screen debut 30 years ago. Her skin looks better than ever. She joins us this morning with her secrets for flawless skin. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Quite an intro there. We are, of course, admiring your beautiful skin, and people just want to know, uh, what is it you do to keep your skin looking so good uh, decade after decade? Uh, first of all, you're very kind, and I so appreciate the hyperbole. It's, it's very lovely and um, very, very kind. I, what do I do to preserve my skin? I think, um, first and foremost, I got dealt a, a really good genetic card by my father. Um, second of all, I take care of my nutrition, what I put in my body, and um, and I think you know I think it's also important to have a good skincare regimen that you can follow. Well, yeah, there are a lot of things that you know obviously change over the decades. And how has your life changed in the way that you you care for yourself, your body, your skin? How has that changed over the decades? Gosh. Um, well, I think I've always really pretty much paid attention to what I eat. I think I try to get more sleep now. Um, and I'm also aware that y your thoughts start to um, affect your health. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's so important. So that you don't try to let yourself get too down and, and um, you know, you try to stay as fully engaged with life and with the people around you well, do as you, you can in yeah, a joyful do you feel way. Outside pressure, obviously, you know, being a part of Hollywood, and is it uh, a unique pressure that you experience? Obviously, being on TV, being in movies, do you feel that pressure? I think you know what's interesting is, especially when you when you hit fifty, you start to realize that um, the real precious gem is your mind, and you start to um, become engaged with things that really interest you and that you really want to get done and you know you wake up in the morning and you say what do I get to do today what do I want to do today and engage fully um, that's well, I think for me that's that's helped me a lot well I know that obviously a lot of people remember you from flash dance also most recently uh, the L word of course being so successful that show and uh, what are some of the projects you're working on now uh, I have a film that I'll be shooting this summer called Manhattan Nocturne with Adrian Brody and Campbell Scott, and I'm producing a show for HBO along with Lauren Schuler Donner and Oren Moverman. And I see here in my notes as well that you are a passionate open water swimmer, and that tell me a little bit about that and you know how you've kept that going over the years. Well, you know, I, I open water swimming is relatively recent. I mean, that's in the last gosh, seven years. And what I love about it is that I, it feels like flying, you know, being, being out in the ocean or being in a lake. And it's this, this sense of gliding and, and flying and that you're not beholden to gravity in any way. I really, really love being in the water. Where do you do most of your swimming? Um, I'll either do it in the, in the ocean or, but I really, um, I have to say, uh, where I usually go swimming, they've um, spotted a lot of the landlords, namely sharks, so I haven't <laughs> been going back there very often because I am too much of a wuss to be thinking about swimming with sharks. I just don't enjoy that. The first time I heard about the sharks being um, as prevalent as they are now, it made me swim very, very fast, and I thought <laughs> I'm not really focusing on the gliding and the flying and the euphoria. I'm more thinking about getting this over with quickly, which is not the way I want to experience uh, my swimming. So I have to say, I prefer the lake at this point. I understand that. Um, but it's, yeah. Well, where can people go to learn more information about you and some of the projects that you're up to? Uh, well, it, as far as the skincare line, Everdeep goes, they can go to everdeep.com. And um, I also have uh, re released a book that I did based on my experience um, doing the show, The L Word. It's a book of, of interviews with the cast and and photos that I took during the, that time that I was on the show. And the proceeds from that book go to um, Mount Sinai's Children's Environmental Health Center. Um, environmental health is a subject that I've 
been interested in for the last uh, few years and have been working to lobby to change um, toxic chemical laws in the United States. Well, so just so uh, that's something that I'm really excited about to, yeah, to help really Mount Sinai work. with their center. Yeah, well, we appreciate you. you taking the time to speak with us. It's always fun to, to hear from you to see what you're up to, and best of luck in the future. Thanks. Take care.